Okay, this is a bit of a new venture for the Torrevecha, Torrevecha area. Um, we don't know what Torrevecha actually means. The Torre is tower, and Nevecha means old, old tower. Um, but anyway, the point of this video is, if you followed my videos on this channel and the other one, you'll know that we've had a bit of a transition over the last couple of years into Spain. And we found a lot of people are overcharging, a lot of people don't know what they're doing, a lot of people aren't qualified for the stuff they're doing. Um, one of the problems being in Spain is a mechanic doesn't need to be a mechanic. Um, a lawyer often isn't a lawyer, an accountant often isn't an, an accountant. I hate all that. Um, I'm a very specific type. If you say you can do it, I want it done. That's why I'm employing you. Um, so this is where we're going. I've spent a bit of time getting a couple that are both lawyers um, on board for this new venture. Um, I've also got a accountant and jester. So we can do all the legal processing, we can do all your documentation, we can do things like the investigations for the surveys for your house, is there any debt on it, who owns it, etc. We can do that. Is there a mortgage on there? We can do that for you. We can sort out your paperwork. So there's, there's two ways, because I've sat and spent about three, four hours with our lawyer discussing this. There's two ways we're going to do this. First one is you say, Matt, I just want you to fill the forms in for me and I'll go and do it myself. That will be a very low reasonable rate for doing that for you and we'll do that for you the next one is you go matt i've been down there before <laughs> I, they told me to go away and bring a translator that's a different rate um because what we're trying to do is actually have the two opportunities for you so if you need help we will help you but if you can do it yourself do it yourself it's it, we're not looking at overcharging anybody um because one of the things i noticed is like with the padron I've seen the Padron charge out 110 euros. Um, we could actually set the, sit down, do the paperwork with you, um, and send you off on your own. We'll probably say 25 euros for something like that um, because we'll get all your paperwork in order with you. So you just go in there and it's very done and dusty very easily. Um, if you need us, with 20 euros an hour. It's as simple as that. It's a, it's a fixed rate. So you're not going to you'd be overpaying um, and even that we could turn around and say go down there get the ticket and then give us a call once you've got the ticket and we'll come in because that'll save you like at least 20 euros in time where we've gone there and stand with you while you get your ticket you can get the ticket yourself and just say right Matt come down um, I've got my ticket I'm gonna be about another 40 minutes before I actually get seen that's that's what we're looking at so we come in do it with you and then we're out the door um, we're trying to keep your costs down because you, you're spending real money. It's your hard-earned cash. So we do not want to be overcharging, and I don't like people overcharging other people. Another cost that come through the door, getting an NIE. We can do the same. We can reduce the costs on that with you. Getting your um, Social Security number, getting your kids into school, which is an absolute setup of a large set of documents and a process. We can help you with that. I was originally quoted 200 euros per child, believe it or not. Um, it wouldn't cost you anywhere near that because most of this running around, we will say to you, come into our office, we'll look at your paperwork, tell you what you need. You go, you know, for example, you need your, your, the medicals. So we'll say, you need to go and get your SIP card from X and then come back. SIP card's a Spanish medical card. Um, just, so we'll say, go to that clinic, that's your nearest clinic, they'll sort that out for you. Do this, do that, do that. We'll tell you where to go. Um, because obviously, that is how we reduce the cost. But if you say, Matt, do it for us, we'll have to sit and work out a fee on that because it's not too bad if we've got a few people to do, but if it's just yours and you want it done quickly, then obviously there'll be some negotiation in there. But we're not looking at overcharging. What we're trying to encourage people is to try and take some ownership of the, some of the paperwork process and to make your life easier. The same goes with accounting. Um, we're trying to develop an accounting system where you actually know what expenses you can charge and how to actually 
charge them. Um, you know, because you need certain receipts and things. And most of the people I've spoken to, I've sort of worked it out by themselves. I want it, that costs you money. You're paying accountants to actually do your accounts, but they don't tell you how to fill the things in. That's what this new service is going to do. It's going to deal with that issue. Um, so the, if you set a business up, you know what you can charge. They, right? You can charge for a third of your electric. What telephone bills you can charge for? Can you charge for your computer equipment? You know, your general expenses. What can you get away with? This is what we're aiming to do. Instead, Because I know a lot of people just pay it and just go, okay, uh, the accountant deals with it. You're spending too much money on tax. I'll tell you that now. There's other things you could be claiming for that would actually recover the cost of your accountant in the excess tax you're paying. Now we're on to the other bits and pieces. When you need something like a utility bill cancelled or changed, name change, or your internet's not working and you want to cancel it, um, or something else, some of these places will go, we've got people that speak English. Yes, but when you pick up the phone, it's all in Spanish and it goes, press three for blah, 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 press five for blah, 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 all in Spanish. At no point do you hear the word Inglés, uh, which is the only word you want to hear because that will put you through the right person. We're offering a service where we can phone on behalf of you. So we can actually deal with a lot of these things for you. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. If you're actually trying to get something done at a certain office, maybe even you need somebody to go to the doctors with you because you've got a problem with sore throat or whatever we can actually help with that. We're trying to create a service that will make life easier for expats generally. Because one of the things I did notice is the average expat in Spain is not a spring chicken. Um, they're an aging population in many ways. And I think they get exploited a lot. And I want to be a service that's actually helping rather than costing people a lot of money. Which gets us on to the next bit. We're looking at setting up um, what we'll call our approved contractors. Um, this is the people that will clean your pool, fix your air conditioning, change your lock if you lose your keys, uh, do, a, do a clean on a property, do your renovations, etc. etc. We were looking, well, we are setting this up as an approved contractor system where we're going to negotiate the prices with various contractors but the fact is we're looking at a good price for good quality and at the same time we want everybody to be on a win-win because for the contractors they don't have to find the work we deal with getting the work for them from an expat point of view you don't have to deal with people that don't speak English you don't have to deal with people that you're not 100% are they insured and all that sort of stuff? We deal with that because my experience and knowledge comes from facilities management. Now, I deal with everything from um, assets, which is something I'm currently doing with the NHS in the UK. Um, I do asset evaluations. I put a price on the, the cost of running a hospital for air conditioning, electrics, everything, life cycle when you need to replace the air conditioning, when you need to replace your pipe work, everything. I, the, I put all the evaluations together, what people you need, etc., etc., on a very, very large scale. But I can also do it on a small scale, which is where this comes in. Because if, we, if you say, Matt, can you, we're going to buy this property, can you come around and survey it and just say roughly what you think? You know, because if I go in there, like if I can, this apartment here, all the electrics are wired into one circuit. This means that the air conditioning, the cooker, the uh, sockets, the lights, everything are on one wire. It's on one little trip, the whole lot. So when something goes faulty, it takes everything out. The other thing is the air conditioning has no isolators. There should be isolators on the top, uh, on the uh, evaporator units, on the uh, sorry, the condenser units on the roof, but they're not. The reason you have them is so somebody doesn't get electrocuted or it doesn't switch on while somebody is working on it. Um, I know EU regulations and standards. So I can come in there and say, this, this, is it. And I know somebody's going to say, yeah, but they don't do that in Spain. 
that doesn't mean they shouldn't be doing it. What I do is I turn around and give you some recommendations. In the same way, if you need a roadside assistance at um, 11 o'clock in the afternoon because you've been caught speeding or something, and you're having to deal with a Guardia Seville or whatever, you can call us up and we'll talk to the Guardia for you so that you know what's going on in case you, you feel a bit unstuck. Um, we're trying to be a one stop here, which will help most people in most situations. Um, we want to make life in Spain easier because quite simply, bureaucracy and the lack of Spanish ability, language ability is the biggest problems for most expats. The first thing I want to say is though, we actually have somebody teach you Spanish. Um, so we can actually help with that as well. Um, I'm, I'm going to have a chat with her and see if she's open to do regular courses and we'll, we'll try and negotiate something there so that maybe you can do classes of 10 on a regular basis, you know, if there's enough people interested. Because she does teach English and Spanish um, already, but if we get enough interest, then obviously we can get people on the beginner course and work their way through to advance so that you can become more fluent in Spanish. Next thing is all the bureaucracy. The bureaucracy is not going to go away, but a lot of the problem is you need to know the processes. So when somebody goes, right, to get the uh, NIE, you've got to have a padron. And to get your bank account, you need your NIE. And uh, you need to know how all that domino effect fits in. So you go, I've got that. That means I can get that. I can get that. I can get that. We deal with all that. So the point is, we're trying to make a system that makes your life easier. Um, everything from airport pickups all the way through. So you say, Matt. Uh, I've got holiday rental, but I, I'm not here most of the time. I want somebody else to manage it. We can deal with that. We want to be the person you call up. This is basically what I do, facilities management. And this means I can deal with most of your problems. And the expat service bolt on is obviously the legal side and the translation side and accounting. So let me know what you think. But Bear in mind, it's not just me. I've got accountants, I've got lawyers, and I've got other people in the background, translators, etc. So there's a, there's a few people in there that will make whatever the problem is a lot easier to deal with, or even better, just go away. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.